Welcome back to Uncle Dan's Backyard Barbecue. If you like this channel, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Today we're going to be doing a whole chicken um, on the rotisserie. So we have the rotisserie, we have an orange, and what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scar this orange because we're going to use this, we're going to put it on the rotisserie and then we're going to set our, our chicken on top of the orange. And then we got a little tangent. We'll take olive oil, we'll coat the outside of our chicken so we get that nice, good, crispy skin as it rotisseries. We got some of our uh, smoked season salt. Uh, we're gonna use smoked pepper today. I have some trestle. We're gonna use some of this uh, kitchen twine to, to truss this chicken and get this set up. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna score this orange just so that as it heats on the inside, it will release that citrus inside to our chicken. As it rotisseries, this orange is gonna flavor the inside of our chicken. So that's kind of what we're gonna do. So we're just put it in four scores, just like that. We're gonna take this in, we're gonna, we're gonna go through this orange, and we're gonna get the orange on here, just like so. And once we get our orange on here, we're gonna go ahead and put it inside the chicken. We're going to get it put on the skewer. So we got our orange stuffed inside that chicken. We'll pull it back this way. So there we go. So now we got our orange. And you want to try to center it in your rotisserie, right? Just to make it easier. And then we'll take some of this twine. And what I like to do is I like to tie up these legs really good. So I'm going to tie up on one side. Bring it over. I'm gonna loop it around this leg. So I'm gonna try to, what I wanna do is I wanna bring these legs together and get them nice and close and tie it up here. So what that will do is as we're rotisserie, it will keep those legs nice and together. And you just go ahead and just tie them together. Get a nice good knot on there. Because as this cooks, it will start to shrink. Your chicken will shrink. And you want it to be nice and tight. So there we go. Tie it one more time. So get the chicken tied. And then I like to also kind of try to tie these wings. Let me get some more of this string here. So I'm going to go ahead and bring around this wing here. I'm gonna come around this side of the wing. And what I wanna do is try to bring these together. And this is kind of the biggest kind of pain about rotisserie and a chicken is getting it strung up on here. So I'm doing chicken today for all of my friends in India who are celebrating Diwali this week. So hopefully they're enjoying their time, enjoying the festival lights. This thing. Let's get around here. Again, getting these wings locked in is one of the things we want to make sure we do. And then we're going to hold those with with our ends as we go ahead and pull this on. So now we got our wings on there. And we're going to take this side, just kind of kind of tie up these legs on this side. Get it nice and tight. Then we're gonna take this on this side, bring it into the chicken. And what we wanna try to do is we wanna try to capture these wings so we lock them in place as well on both sides. There we go. So once we get it on here, we're gonna go ahead and tighten it up. We got the forks in. We tighten them up pretty good on both sides. And then we'll take our olive oil and we're just gonna coat it, give it a nice good coating of olive oil. We'll 
coat this up on this side. And we'll try to lock that in there. A little orange is a tad bit big. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll go ahead and season over the, with our tangent. This is a nice lime seasoning all over our chicken. And today we're going to use post oak. So that's the kind of wood we're going to use out on the rotisserie. So we're going to do that. I like to just turn it over. Get a little bit more olive oil on here. There's a nice good sealant. Seal all those juices in. And then we're just going to season this side like so. Pretty simple. All right, and then we're going to go out there and uh, so let me go get the grill started and uh, we'll go put it on. All right, so we got the Twin Eagles. We're going to be doing the rotisserie at 300 degrees. So we brought it outside. We got the grill up to temp, so we're going to go ahead and load it. So we're going to just take it from here and uh, try to get some of the seasoning on here. We're going to load it on the rotisserie. Get the rotisserie going. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and let that cook for about an hour. We'll come back and test it. We want to get the inside turkey or the chicken temperature about 165. So we're going to let that go for about an hour. We'll come back and check it and uh, see what the temperature is. All right, here we go. We reached at the three hour mark and it looks like our chicken is ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get this off of here, get it tested, check the temperature. Again, we're looking for 165. Uh, internal temperature on this chicken and that's what it looks like. 